The surf was still there, and they were on it. It's not quite as perfect as it was because the sand dunes have been planted with vegetation to stabilize them and keep the blowing sand out of the houses. The sand used to blow into the sea and fill in the rocky bottom, so the bottom was completely flat and made the waves peel perfectly. Without the sand filling in the rocky bottom, the surf is now more irregular and breaks in sections. It's still a great wave, but not quite the same. We were the first to surf here in the 60s, and when we asked local fishermen how often it broke like that, they said, all the time. That's all the information we had. As it turned out, the place is fickle and doesn't get good all that often. Wingnut was really thrilled to be surfing the wave he had dreamed of for so many years. Classic, one of the best days of the year, and Mr. J. Bay, Sean Thompson, was ripping. It comes wrapping around the point. The wave goes on and on. It seems to me the ultimate irony. We found a perfect way for the time at Cape St. Francis, a longboard kind of wave. Yet only a few miles away is a spot that would be considered a perfect wave by today's standards. That was a good one. Don't think he was stoked? Wing up with a ride that's over a minute long. They say on just the right day at Jay Bay, you can get a ride that lasts five minutes. He couldn't wait to get back to Santa Cruz and tell his buddies, oh yeah, Jay Bay, me, Sean Thompson, you know. Gave him a few tips. Sean's ridden waves throughout the world, and Jay Bay is still his favorite spot. Um, I think my very favorite wave in the world is Jeffries, definitely. I mean, I love the wave. I think it offers a lot of variety, a lot of power. The wave's very speed orientated, um, but there's also a place where you can do big, strong maneuvers. And also, um, it has fantastic tube sections, which uh, is the thing that I like best. About the time you think you're hot stuff in the water, some guys show up who make you feel pretty humble. If you could swim like this, you wouldn't need a board, or a leash, or a wetsuit, or a car. Walter is one of several million Zulus in South Africa, and the only one that surfs. He'd only surf around Durban, which is a sandy beach break, so if you lose your board, you can just stand up. We didn't realize it, but he'd never learned.